We just talked about spontaneous breath. Let's talk about positive pressure breath. And let's have this example. We have a balloon here and we have a tube, the balloon attached to a tube or a straw, whatever. So we need to blow air, get it into the balloon to blow the balloon, to inflate the balloon. So we apply our mouth here and try to push air in here when we apply our mouth here and try to push air in uh, air here that simply means we applying positive pressure that push try to inflate a balloon through something or the balloon itself that push you're trying hard to blow the balloon that's a pressure so you creating positive pressure at this point here a to push the air toward B and simply what you're doing you making the pressure at a let's say a pressure and you're making it higher than B pressure you creating that pressure gradient and when the a is higher than B the air start flowing in the same thing you can say this is the trachea going into the lungs and we just talked about the spontaneous breath how it happens and the sequence of events the same idea we applied here at the balloon we can apply it here instead of making and spontaneous breath is making the pressure at B less than A. Why don't we reverse it? Applying positive pressure at A, which means the proximal airways, and create that pressure gradient because now A, the pressure at A is bigger than B, right? Then the air will flow. So instead of going through the sequence of events that will lead to drop in the pressure at B, we simply apply positive pressure at A that will push the air in into our lungs. And if here we apply our mouth to apply the positive pressure, the positive pressure and push the air in, here simply we're going to apply a device or a mask to apply that positive pressure. So simply with positive, with spontaneous breath, all that sequence of even we talked about will lead that we suck air in. While this positive pressure breath simply push air in see the difference here and as I said the device that can be applied here could be a mask like a BiPAP or CPAP or could be a machine like a ventilator that will create this positive pressure so that's the difference between positive pressure breath and spontaneous breath